हेलो गाइस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट पैलो ऑल्टो फायर सो व्हाट बेसिकली द पैलो ऑल्टो फायर इज लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड सो बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द पैलो ऑल्टो फायर लेट्स फोकस ऑन द फायर सो यू माइट हैव गॉन थ्रू द सी सी एन एंड वी हैव अ राउटर हियर एंड वट दिस राउटर डज इट हेल्प्स टू फॉरवर्ड द ट्रैफिक फ्रॉम वन नेटवर्क टू another network we are having a routing table here and based on the routing table it sends the packets here to here or if we have another network network 3 it sends the traffic from here to there or reverse direction similarly it helps so this controls the traffic in layer 3 the same scenario is with the switch if we have any switch here and uh, we have the different vlans right so the traffic is sent on the same network so in this case uh, this is all in the same network so in fact i should have told uh, layer 2 first so what the switch does it within the same network it sends the packet but but on the same vlan let us suppose this is on vlan 1 this is also on vlan 1 then it will send the traffic but if two ports they are in the vlan 2 then they will communicate with each other so that's what it is happening in layer 2 and layer 3 right so this is the functions of the switches and the router what happen or what is our requirement that i was quite happy in the scenario of this router our traffic was traveling here to there but if we want to control the traffic controlling of the traffic can be done in the layer 3 routers basically we can take the help of cisco routers or some other routers we are having a name as access control list sometimes we also call it as acl right short form is acl so like in the juniper or other routers they are having this uh, similar concept but with some other names but the feature is same like we can control the traffic based on its ip address and its port number it means that whenever the traffic is arriving we can filter out the traffic that okay this ip address 10.1.1.1 to allow to go to this interface while the ip address 10.1.1.2 is not allowed to go to the internet not internet basically to the another network it likes anything like from one interface to another interface we can set a control so there are two ways to control the one is ip address what i have just told you that this ip address is allowed and this is not allowed similar concept we can have for the port number it can be for the source port number or for the destination port number similarly whatever i told that is was for the source ip address but the similar concept can be used for the destination ip address that this user or in fact this machine is not allowed to connect destination ip address 192 let's suppose 200.200.200.1 so the similar concept we can have like based on the source and destination ip address or our source and destination port numbers our traffic is allowed or denied so as this was quite overloaded right because uh, this router is doing our l3 part like like uh, we are having a routing table and the packet is being forwarded based on the routing tables but if we also uh, ac configure the access control it or acl so the same router is doing the two jobs so what happens is that this our router gets overburden so the ram and cpu is uses are quite high so we can do like implement the another router for that functionality but the better way is that we can implement a firewall separately means the let the router do its own job that was forwarding of the packets based on routing table from one network to another network and this filtering part controlling of the traffic let's 
do it via firewall so what we do we implement a router here after a router we install a firewall so our router will be powered in traffic and now this control will be done via this firewall so that's how we implement now the question comes that what exactly firewall can do right so now i'm quite confident you are to, you know that what exactly firewall is doing so basically the job of our firewall is to control the traffic control so controlling just on ip address and the port number is the concept of our legacy firewall now question comes that what is next generation firewall and this is very important question and uh, most of the time interviewer ask that first question what they ask they ask uh, what is the difference between the legacy firewall and the next generation firewalls another question in reference to the palo alto is pa a legacy firewall or it is a next generation firewall so legacy firewalls are the firewalls which gives you control up to l4 l4 means layer 4 and uh, that i'm talking about the osi layer right below layer layer 4 okay osi model i'm talking about so in that case you are having control up to the ip address and the port numbers only above that means that you don't have any control for the application layer means that firewall is not able to understand that if you are able to access the google.com or you are accessing any uh, malicious website or you are accessing any adult content or you are accessing any news website that this firewall legacy firewall is not able to understand or it is not able to identify that one so this feature is controlled or the introduced in the next generation firewall and this firewall next generation firewalls are having control up to application layer means that our firewall will come to know that you are accessing which of the website you can allow or deny based on the url so we can say the feature as a url filtering so url filtering feature is available here you can block or deny the traffic based on the different file type so we can say the file blocking is allowed like uh, sometimes what happens that you Uh, download any malicious content that is having .exe file and that software is not intended uh, for your machine and it uh, steals some of the information or some unwanted things it is doing so you can block like uh, .exe is not allowed or if you your organization wants or you want that you don't want to download the pdf right so you can block the pdf or you can do reverse wise you can just allow uh, pdf only and you can block the remaining files so they are different extension of the files you can just do these things or you can allow in, uh, inspection of the traffic in the firewall right so these type of things it is doing so basically our this palo alto firewalls falls in this category next generation firewall so the answer of your inter uh, question in the interview that what is the pal legacy firewall what is the next generation firewall and what is the difference between them another question was is palo alto is a legacy firewall or next generation firewall now you are able to answer that question and i have given multiple interviews that's why i'm telling you with my experience that what questions are being asked so in the entire course i will be telling you uh, the content that what i will be telling you on the same time i will also be telling you that what are the questions are going to be asked in the interviews is that topic relevant or not so this is it in about the introduction of the firewalls and uh, let's see the gui of our firewall that what exactly it looks like 
So for this lab demonstration, whatever I will be showing you, I will be using our EVNG setup. So this I have installed as VMware Workstation EVNG. So for that one, first I have installed VMware Workstation and inside that VMware work Workstation, I have installed the image of EVNG community so that you can download from EVNG website. And uh, once the EVNG setup is done inside that EVNG, I have fetched the images of the different uh, routers and the firewalls. Uh, let us suppose uh, we are having this type of setup, right? So I have the images of like checkpoint security gateway, Cisco ASA. This is I think L3, uh, L2 and L3 switch. So such type of things I'm having. So this is Palo Alto firewall. I have connected it via a Windows machine through management interface and I will be opening this machine so that I can access the GUI. So configuration things I'm not telling you, I will be coming up later on. I just open it to see the GUI of the Palo Alto. So this is the login page of Palo Alto. So in the coming sessions, we will cover covering up that how to uh, configure the interfaces and, and all. So that's how our GUI looks like, right? I always click on the do not show, but it always <laughs> shows this message. So that's how the uh, dashboard looks like. Uh, it tells you the general information that what is the device name. So this is our virtual machine. What is the management IP address and all VM information, right? We are having the different tabs like dashboard here, ACC, monitor, policies, objects, networks, and devices. It just tells you that VM license as well. So that's the problem I will be facing here that I don't have the license for this uh, Palo Alto firewall because that's quite costly, uh, around 40K something. So it's really difficult to arrange that one, but still I'm trying to do that. If I'm able to get the license, I will be demonstrating you with the license. Else that does not uh, restrict us from doing a lot of things. Uh, the only restrictions are there uh, that we cannot ins uh, see the logs and uh, some of the I think URL options are, are not available. So I will see that uh, there are the very limited features which are not but only the logs is the major feature that we cannot see. Another options uh, we can have like uh, let's go one by one for in the device tab we are having this type of these many other options like what is the high availability configuration, password profiles, administrators, admin roles, like uh, username and password setup, that things we can do. In the network tabs, as the name clearly tells that what basically the networks means, so like we can uh, configure our interfaces, zones, VLANs and all. We can also configure like global protect, that is basically the VPN, uh, remote VPN we can say for this Palo Alto firewall. We can co configure the IPsec tunnels that is site to site VPN that can also be done. So these are options are available under the network tab. Objects are basically the grouping of the IP addresses that we can use for the different purposes. And here we also are having the options of uh, URL filtering, file blocking, anti-spyware, antivirus blocking, URL category that that we will sub everything we will come up one by one but i'm just uh, guiding you that what options are available on which side so this is the important thing policies that basically we set up that which of the traffic you want to allow or deny based on the zones based on the ip addresses source ip address and user identity is also available for this palo alto firewall so based on the user, we can segregate the traffic that for this user, you want to allow the traffic for another users, you don't want to allow. So that's how it is our 
another tab is our monitor so in the monitoring tabs we can have the logs here so as of now there's nothing here so this is the limited features in the license without license we will not able to see any logs in this window but for alternate we will be having this session browser option available so that will solve out our purposes okay we will take the help of session browser these are options are available in the monitoring tabs like user id alarms and all so that we will see another thing is like acc so this is basically configured in the monitor mode uh, but not monitor mode in fact we, we should say that this is like uh, uh, tap mode whenever we configure we will come up that what exactly this is and dashboard we have already seen so that's how the GUI looks like uh, we will start one by one that what they are so but before that one I will uh, uh, take that uh, what are the things uh, we are going to cover in this course okay so that's it for this one uh, let's come up with the next uh, video that I will tell you that what exactly which topics we are going to cover in this series alright guys see you soon in the next session